gloves. What colors are you wearing today? If you're wearing red, if you're wearing red, if you are wearing red, jump up and down. Jump, 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 jump. Good morning, friends, and happy Wellness Wednesday. Welcome back to another circle with me, Teacher Melanie. And I hope you had a good night's rest because we're gonna have some fun today. Because it is Wellness Wednesday, that means we're talking about our mind and body connection, right? And clearly, I am not outside today. Uh, I'm actually having tummy problems, so I'm gonna stay inside. But, my friends, if you are able to go out, get out there, get some energy out, run, jump, hop, skip, whatever you need to do to get those wiggles out of your body. Another way of- Jenna! Another Jenna! <laughs> Friends, you see her? Anyways, <laughs> another- Another way to move your body around is through dance, right? And so I would love to read. <laughs> oh, friends, I would love to read this book called Giraffes Can't Dance. I'm trying to block Jenna, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Giraffes can't dance, or can they? Let's find out. <laughs> Right, giraffes can't 
dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were really, or sorry, rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh, Gerald. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing, and the, ri and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin field. Field. Feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Do you guys think this was very kind of those animals to say to Gerald? Me neither. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted in the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Gerald. Then he found a light, excuse me, a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes, when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass, and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really wanted to. Well, that the cricket. Ugh. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing around. He threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. He Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Go, Gerald. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived when Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must, have, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Oh, friends, that was a really fun story. So you know what? That story inspires me to get us moving through music. So at school we love to have dance parties, right Momo? But since we're at home and it's just me, let's make some instruments instead, right? 
watch this. Alrighty friends, I did this project on the fly because, well, I still wanted to get my body moving with some music. So I got my old toilet paper rolls, I got some oil pastels, but really you can use whatever coloring material you want. And I decorated my toilet paper roll so it would be a cool looking maraca. This one I decided to use green and make some ladybugs. Turned out pretty cute. And then I've got another one to make a rainbow maraca. I know a lot of friends at school love rainbows. So this one's for you kiddos. So after coloring both, I got my Ziploc bags and tape, and I wrapped the tape around first, but really you could probably measure out like how much of the bag you want to use first. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I kind of did this on the fly, and I like doing that sometimes. So you want to cover both sides, both ends of the toilet paper roll, making sure that you have your material inside, whether it be beans, uh, jingle bells, or whatever else you got. And I did jingle bells for the rainbow one. And every time I say jingle bells, I think of our friend James at school, Mitchy dude. Oh, oh no, my jingle bells fell out, so I had to retape it. Please be very cautious of how you are putting together your maracas. And for the final one, I used an empty container. It was pretty rad. All right, friends, there you have it. We have three different maracas. And, you know, <laughs> uh, clearly this was something I made up on the spot, but that's how I am sometimes, even at school. If I see materials that I like, I'll grab them and I'll find a way to use them. So, plenty of toilet paper rolls plenty of tape, cellophane of some sort, or just a Ziploc bag, honestly. Uh, and next time, some clear tape would be better, so you can actually still see your design, right? But in this one, I put beans. In this one, I put jingle bells. And I used an old Parmesan container, cleaned it out completely. I put cotton balls, I put the beans, and the jingle bells, if you can see them, all inside, right? And even, friends, we like to use this just to work on our fine motor skills and pop things in and out of this, right? And these are just fun, music-making maracas. And I hope you have a rockin' day, y'all.